Ooh, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and today I had a request on doing enums in uh, Unity and how we can use them. So I wanted to show how to use enums in uh, C Sharp and Unity to d define states of things. I'm going to start off with, uh, let me choose a, I'm going to create a sphere here. So here's my sphere. And I'm just going to make a couple of them. All right, and I'm gonna drop in a directional light. All right, so I have three spheres here that I'm gonna put a script on to control their states. So I'm gonna create a C sharp script here. Uh, I'll just call a sphere, and I will place it on all three of these spheres. Right. So I'm going to show you how to do if statements and case statements with enums on these spheres. So what I'm going to do is create an enum. So it's going to be a public enum. I'm going to call this uh, color state. And there's going to be, let's say, five color states or four color states. So we'll say red, green, blue, yellow uh, and that's fine that's four and we'll create a instant we'll create a variable using our enums so we'll do colors or public color state color state equals color state dot let's start off with red in fact we'll have a white here as well uh, because that's kind of what color they are now let's start them off as that so this will be their default start, since that's what they already are. Now, uh, what I want to do is inside of my start function is based on the color state of this sphere, I want to change the actual color of the uh, material. So I'm going to say if uh, color state is equal to color state dot red, then renderer dot material dot color equals color dot red. All right, and I'm just going to copy and paste this to do else if statements for uh, each one of these. Let me close this thing. Okay, I'm going to do an else if, another else if, another else if, and another else if. So if uh, the first one, I'm just going to do this in order. So if it's white, then we're going to do color dot white. If it's red, we do color.red. If it's green, we do color.green. If it's blue, then we do color.blue. And if it's yellow, we do color.yellow. All right, so we're using an if and an else if statement to choose the color of this object on start. So, over here in Unity, I'm going to make this this first one red. So over here, you'll see a color state drop down. I'm going to choose red. Make the second one green, and the third one blue. Now that I have selected the enum for each one of these, I'm going to hit play, and you'll notice that it's red, green, blue, respectively. Uh, so we have made it so that we can uh, choose their color on start when they start with a default color. So for example, if I change this one to yellow, and I press play, it will then be yellow. So, how do we use switch statements uh, it, it, for these enums? Because enums works uh, pretty well with switch statements. I'm going to do a private void on mouse up as button I believe is the built-in unity function for clicking on things. Uh, let's find out debug.log clicked. Yeah, so when I click on an object it's going to log out clicked. So I'm going to do something redundant here and I'm going to use a if statement to check what color it is. So I'm going to say uh, or sorry, a switch statement. So I'm going to say switch, 
Inside of the parentheses, I'm going to say what I'm checking. I'm checking the color state. All right. And then for each case, it's going to be the enum uh, and then the variable of that enum. So if it was uh, color state dot white, we put a colon there uh, at the end of that. So, oops. And uh, hmm. not sure why it. There it goes. Uh, you have. To, I, I'm not sure why it started squiggling before that. It should have waited for me. Uh, after each switch statement, you need a break to leave it or a go to. Uh, this isn't a exam. This isn't a tutorial on switch statements, as much as it is as it is with uh, the. As much as it is with enums, but we may cover a little bit about them. So in this case statement, if it's white, I'm going to say debug dot log. This sphere is default white break uh, then I'm going to do another case color state dot red uh, debug dot log this sphere is my fave or red color red even though it's more of a crimson that's my favorite color oh well uh, case color state dot uh, green debug dot log this sphere is the color of grass green put a there we go and I'll put another case uh, color state dot blue debug dot log this sphere is the color of uh, the sky blue break and case color state dot yellow debug dot log this sphere is the color of the sun not really but hey yellow break all right so we have this switch statement which uh, acts like an if statement and now I'll explain the uh, the difference between switches and ifs in just a moment so I want to make sure this works if I press play I'll click on the blue it says this sphere is the color of the sky blue if I'll click on the red this sphere is my favorite color red I click on the green this sphere is the color of grass green so it works almost like an if statement except the case statements are a little bit uh, different. You can have a default, which is something that happens uh, when you don't have, when one of these cases uh, kind of don't go through, or it's the default case just in case you don't have it here. So, for example, if I took out red. Uh, debug dot log uh, this enum was not part of the um, choices or I'll say cases so if I press play over here and click the red it says this enum was not part of the cases so the default kind of falls through whenever we don't have a state for or we don't have a case statement for that specific state so uh, another thing you can do is, for example, if in this red, every time I clicked red, I wanted to go to uh, like blue, I could say instead of break, I could say go to, and then I could say color state dot blue. I think it's case dot color state dot blue. Uh, case. Yeah, go to case color state dot blue. So when I click on this red, it's going to say this sphere is my favorite color red, and then it's going to say this sphere is the color of the sky blue. So we can redirect the color state here from red uh, to blue with the go to statement here. Now you, we can uh, also, if uh, I'm not mistaken, you can set the color state here. So color state equals color state dot red 
So you can reset your color state, uh, oops, sorry, not red, dot green. Uh, right, so it's this break actually breaks out of uh, your switch statement. So uh, you could do this where you could set the color state uh, to something or you can uh, set, you can actually redirect it with a go to. So if I just want to go, go to case color state dot green, uh, it goes ahead and jumps to that statement and then you can have it jump from this statement. Also if you have a go to you don't need a break like I had in the previous one, I deleted it uh, because go to kind of just skips and goes on. So you can have it say go to green and then from the green you can say uh, go to case uh, color state dot yellow and uh, go between those states. So then I'll get all three of those states in the order that I go to them. So uh, that's how you use enums, and that's how you can use the switch statements and if statements with enums. So let me explain one thing about enums. Historically, we did things with color, so I'm just going to blow all this away because I hope you got it and you understand it. So historically with enums, uh, this is kind of how it worked before. We, you would use flags. You would use uh, certain flags to determine something. So you would say... Uh, int color equals zero, and zero meant white. And uh, I'll make this public. And then you would do something like if color is equal to zero, uh, debug dot log color is white. And then you say if uh, else if color is equal to one, debug dot log color is uh, red. And then you would just assign this number here uh, over here. So if I selected this guy I would choose a number like oh it's one so it's red. So uh, that's how uh, you would do it historically and the enums obviously makes this look it basically the enums do the same exact thing it's just that they look better. You can use actual words that represent an idea rather than uh, trying to uh, rather than you trying to figure out the number in runtime and whatever. And say this is like miles down in my code somewhere else. I can say color state dot green, huh? So its color state is green rather than saying case three or two. And then I'd say what is two, and then I'd have to go up and figure out what two is. Uh, so that's that's how enums are extremely useful. They're just words that represent an idea. So this isn't this is no longer hey color state is equal to zero. Uh, I I can now say the color state is white, which is readable, uh, and that's really the only difference is that it's readable. So uh, if you've watched any enums tutorials before, you would know that enums can be associated with numbers. So I can say this is one. So if white is 1, red is automatically 2, green is automatically 3, blue is automatically 4, yellow is automatically 5. It increments from the original. So if I don't set a number, white is automatically 0, red is automatically 1, green is automatically 2, 3, and 4. So you can assign numbers to these. So I can say this is 56. And that means this is 57, this is 58, and if I didn't want this to be 58, I'd set this to 109 if I wanted to. And then this would be 110 and 111. So enums uh, also can are associated to numbers, so I can say color state is equal to 0. Uh, so, so if color state is 0, I know it's white. Because uh, this is an integer itself. I don't... Uh, in some cases, you actually have to typecast the enum as an int, but... As you can see, I do not hear, so uh, I'm going to keep this one as white. This one will go to green, and this one will go to blue. And we should see white, green, and blue echoed here. Or we should see that this stays as white. Actually, let's not, let's not do that because uh, let's do it to blue. And blue is 0, 1, 2, 3. So if color state is 3, turn it blue. So this one is blue. Cannot convert from color state. Oh, so this is the part where I said you have to convert it. So here, 
you can typecast this as an int, which it's now an int, and now when we get to this one it should turn blue on its material. And there you go, it's blue. And this one we remained as white, which we can change to red. So you can see that we can compare enums against numbers too, uh, as long as those numbers are uh, representative here. So uh, that's that with enums. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll get to you as always. Uh, so I hope this helped out to uh, the one that had the question with about enums.